I want to do a real quick vlog video again. Uh, I wasn't really intending on doing this one, but since we're set up for recording, I'm going to do a few videos. Um, you know, as you can still see, it's Sunday, August 27th, and right now Elysium is going through an update. So this particular build, if you bought from US Android TV, uh, is partially crippled. And I like to show when we're vulnerable to show that it's not entirely disabled. Uh, for example, I wanted to show you real quick. Um, we use this build, which uses Elysium. Elysium's a great add-on. It used to be known as Zen, um, and that was a great add-on, and now it's Elysium, which is a really great add-on. But they're going through an update, and they do this about every two weeks or so. Uh, the longest I've seen them go without an update is about a month. And what they do is they re-index so that it's, it's, it's more optimized is basically what they're doing on their updates. Plus, they go through all the providers and sources, ones that don't work and ones that are dead, and they get rid of them. New ones that are up and coming and that are good, they, you know, they use them. But I, I want to show you something real quick, because if you watch the TX3 uh, user manual video, you know, like, when you pop up, when you turn on the screen, it pops up with movies, and you know you can go up and select one of these 50 movies and watch them. Um, you can click OK from here, or you can go down and search a movie or search a genre or a movie in theater or whatever. But I want to show you something real quick because, again, Elysium right now is going through an update. So the, you know, my build is partially crippled. Um, if, you, if you click on movies, you click OK on movies, you get the Elysium menu, uh, which is, it looks like everything is cool and everything works, but it does not. Um, if you click search, for example, well, it's actually, that's working, which is weird, because it didn't work a little bit ago. So maybe they're, they've released a, a Part A update. You know, I didn't see it. But let's see if we can pull up this movie, because the purpose of this is actually uh, doing favorites. And if this works, this, th that's fine, because I'm going to show you two ways to save the favorites. See, it, it, it blanked out. So the, the search uh, window popped up, but the search engine is disabled. That's okay. You're not out of luck. You don't need to throw your box in the trash can. You don't need to send me an upsetting email or anything like that because I've actually built a redundancy for that, which is called search. It's real simple. All you do, again, with search is you can click OK or you can go down. You can go to the general search or the global search or you can go to TV shows or movies. Um, let's make it real easy. Let's say you, you went from movies to... Um, and you went over to search, and you click your, your right cursor, or your right directional arrow, I'm sorry, and you click OK, that pulls up an add-on called Metallic. Metallic is a very good add-on, very stable, very strong. So let's go ahead and save a favorite from here. Now, if you watch my last vlog post, I did at the very end a favorite, uh, Alice in Wonderland, but I've been instructed that I need to add the other Alice in Wonderland through the looking glass, so I am going to do that. And again, you can type with your cursor. I always use an Air Mouse remote, and I recommend that you have one. Uh, it's, it's a $25 purchase and available online at usandroidtv.com. So I don't want to type in through the looking glass and all that, I, you know, because I don't even know if that's, that's the part two. So again, it, it pops up, you know, the search, I hit OK, or in that case, if you have the cursor arrows, you click Done. And then you click OK on Alice in Wonderland, making sure that it's spelled properly. And then I want to look for the second one. That's the cartoon version. That's the older version. And as you can see, there are many, many Alice in Wonderlands. So... Maybe I needed it. Yeah, look, there's over a thousand pages of Alice in Wonderland. That's insane. So to save time, and I will, I will do this later, but I want to go ahead and, and save into favorites. So th that's what this blog post is about, is saving to favorites. And it doesn't matter whether you do TV shows, movies, music, even a particular channel. You can save anything to favorites. Once you get to where you want to go, which let's just use Alice in Wonderland, uh, the cartoon, because I've already got the other one saved on my favorites. All you have to do is press and hold the OK button, 
until the side menu pops out and you're going to scroll down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and that is add to favorites and you're going to click OK. Once that menu disappears, it's automatically on your favorites. So again, it doesn't matter whether you want to search a movie, whether you want to search a TV show, music, a particular channel, anything. You can search anything and search. And then all you do is, see like it's asking me to enter a, a particular channel, which I don't want to waste time in doing that. So um, basically anything that you find on here, on your search parameter, all you have to do is you click OK, or I'm sorry, you press and hold OK, and you scroll down 11 times to add to favorites, and you're good to go. So let, let's do a TV show just real quick, and then I'm going to wrap this video up. I meant this to be like a, like a five-minute video. I know it's longer than that. I apologize. I want to give you guys a lot of information because, you know, this is an organic technology. It's ever-changing and ever-growing. So I went under TV shows. I went, uh, I'm searching the Cosby show. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And it's going to search for the Cosby show. There shouldn't be too many results on this. You got the Bill Cosby show. Well, that's an older one. The new Bill Cosby show, which doesn't, that, this is Bob, by the way. Anytime you see this, this wreath, it's Bob. And Bob, as of this date, is dead. Uh, Fat Albert with the Cosby Kids and the one I was looking for, which is Cosby Show. So let me go ahead and show you a couple things real quick. If I want to save the entire series, okay, I press and hold OK. I click down 11 times. Or no, see, it's different on this one. I click down to add to favorites, which I think was six times. I click add to favorites. It's done. The Cosby Show is now in my favorites category. Let's say that I want, to, I want to save a particular season. I can go into season one. I can click OK. Now it's going to pull up all the episodes within that season. And let me go back one. I apologize. Let's say I want to save season one. I press and hold OK. I scroll down to add to favorites. I click OK. If, even if you want to save an episode, you click OK. You know, let's say you want to you, you start, start out by watching the pilot. You press and hold OK. You scroll down to add to favorites, which in this case is at the very bottom. And you click OK. And it will add that. But here's what I want to show you. I mean, and, and I don't know if you're able to read this or not. Um, you know, this TV is a plasma TV, so it doesn't transfer very well to an HD camera. But, you know, you have different things about on the side menu that are useful too. Uh, extended episode info. If you want to watch a trailer, a YouTube trailer on it, you can. Recommended TV shows based on the Cosby show. Uh, you can select a particular stream to play from, like Elysium, which it'll come up anyway. It'll give you the episode information that's the same as the one that's behind this menu. It'll allow you to play it from here. You can mark it as watched. Uh, or you can remove it from your favorites. So every time that side menu pops up, when you press and hold OK, you have options there as well. I'm going to wrap up the video, but before I do, I want to show you real quick that if I go over to my favorites, it'll populate. Uh, on the budget boxes, this process takes up to 10 seconds, so you have to be patient. I'm, of course, using the Ultimate Box, which has a 3 gigabyte RAM. So, and it's still taking quite a bit, but as you can see now, if we scroll over, which like I said, I've got a lot of stuff. There's my Alice in Wonderland cartoon that I added. There's Cosby Show, the entire series. There's Cosby Show Season 1, and there's actually the, the pilot episode. All of those added to my favorites. Now I can click on those, and again, we're going to select Elysium. And we're going to watch it, uh, you know, on Elysium. And Elysium is working just fine. So, again, I wanted to show you adding to favorites. Select Elysium. Click OK. I wanted to show you, while the build is partially crippled due to Elysium going through an update, that you're not completely out of luck. You can still add to favorites. If you haven't submitted your favorites to me when you got your box or you've gone through all of your favorites, you can add your own favorites. It's not something special. And you can do it simply right from there. So I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video. 
And again, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you leave a comment, I'll be sure to respond. Please subscribe to my channel. Share this video with anybody that finds it helpful. And if you have any questions, again, visit my website, www.usandroidtv.com. And until next time, YouTubers, we'll check you later.